This posting appeared on Moonnet uh, the 6th June 2025. The problem is how to monitor a frequency where transmissions vary in amplitude very much. So the problem is the strong signal disappears and you want to hear the weak one immediately. Means a very fast AGC. Here I have a setup to demonstrate how to handle the problem with lean rod and RTL SDR. These two generators go to a combiner and directly into the dongle. Lean rod should be set up like this. It is H for the RTL2832 or dongle. H. And then I set a good bandwidth, 2 MHz. And it has to be the tuner input, that's zero. And then the gain mode should be zero for automatic. And I set 1.6 mega. well I set 2.2 MHz bandwidth. Uh, that's high. And crystal error, I don't care about that. And then I have to select an output. And I don't use port audio here, so that will be speakers, that is zero. And then X, X. And then save this. That's W. And then we go for amplitude modulation, that's F. And here is the signal at 116.05. And I click on it. Both generators are set to AM with 75% modulation. And the difference in amplitude is 50 decibels. I switch off the stronger one and back on. You can hear the response is immediate. If I make the strong signal even stronger, a big delay for the weak signal also. Conclusion. 
with this setup, we have a full solution for the problem that was posted on Monet up to a difference in signal levels of 80 decibels. To get more, a directional antenna will be needed. Here I have a FunCube Pro Plus dongle and I will demonstrate how that works. To set up I press U as usual and then A to set up the sound card once more to demonstrate how I did it. FunCube behaves like a sound card. So A and then select sound card and use port audio no and then select the fan cube dongle that's zero and do you need more channels no that's no and then what to select here well, first of all, I select the WAV format extensible because that allows 24-bit format. That's and sampling speed, let's say 96 kilohertz. And the exact capabilities of the dongle you can find on the internet. Number of bits, 24. And one RF and two audio, that is number two. And time shift, there is no time shift. And then the hardware is number six, FunCube Dongle Pro Plus. And I select the output as before. And then X and X and W to save this. And F for AM. And here we are. I click on the signal here. And what you hear now is the weak generator. And I switch on the strong one. There is a spur of some kind, but the level here is 80 decibels above the weak. There is a problem. <clears throat> what you have seen is the performance with both the low noise preamplifier and the mixer gain on on. I can switch off one of them and now the signal is more noisy but I switch on the strong signal now. switch on the strong one and it is very strong it's minus sorry it is 90 decibels one hundred decibels One hundred and ten decibels. I 
I can do the opposite thing here. Switch off that. And on that. It's similar for the weak signal. But it is worse for the strong one. Another possibility is to use a pair of servos with a suitable converter. I have set it up here, but I have not yet set up the AGC properly and I will show the effects of that. So I select the signal and here I switch on the strong and then switch off. And you can hear the time constant uh, when the ADC goes back after the strong signal. Now, time constants in Linrod are set here. Attack time 2, make that 0. Release time 4, make also that 0. And hold the time 2, also 0. And then I select the signal and switch off the strong one. And of course I had it like that also on the previous tests. Here I have 70 decibels difference. Perseus is still linear. If I go further, there will be clipping in the Perseus hardware, but that doesn't affect too badly. You can hear the distortion, but you can certainly decode if there would be a voice there. Now the saturation is heavy and there will be a difficulty to hear what they would say if that this was a voice modulation. I am now using an AirSpy HF Plus. This is the strong signal and I switch it off and on again. Now the amplitude difference is 125 decibels. I switch off the strong signal and on. Works perfectly well. I bring it up a little bit further and now it is distorted but probably still perfectly readable if there would be a voice there. And I cannot get more than this because it is AM modulated. And here are the parameters I have set. I don't think that is critical. 